Hi YouTube, I'm Aiman. Welcome back to one of my auto repair videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to put your Toyota Prius 2004-2009 into inspection or maintenance mode. In this mode, it allows you to run your car, uh, car's engine continuously without it shutting off. Because normally, when you run your uh, Prius's engine, it will shut off by itself. This allows you to run diagnostics on your car, uh, and for example, it also allows you to bleed the coolant, among other things. Alright, so I have the instructions right in front of me. Uh, I'll put it down in the description below, uh, just so you guys can see it for yourselves. And one thing to note about this process is that it has to be completed within 60 seconds, and there's around seven ste eight steps that we have to do. So first off, uh, we have to uh, put the handbrake on, which is over there. And the second step is to, while keeping your foot off the brake pedal, which is the middle pedal, we're going to power up the car twice. Uh, we're going to press the power button twice. Um, next, we're going to floor the gas pedal, uh, which is the which is the right pedal, and then we're going to uh, release it, and we're going to do that twice. After that, we're going to press down on the brake pedal, and while we're keeping it pressed, we're going to shift it into neutral. All right, so uh, just thing to note for the brake pedal, you want to keep it pressed for the rest of the whole process. After that, you want to shift your car into neutral, so. Uh, move this to the left and then uh, you want to floor the gas pedal and fully release it twice so we're going to repeat what we did last time then we're going to shift back into park so we'll press this button and then floor the gas pedal and fully release it twice now there should be a uh, warning light uh, for us it said problem on the tv screen right here and it tr according to this paper it says uh, this, H this is the HV warning light, and this warning light has the silhouette of a car with an exclamation point on it. So after that, we're going to press the power, uh, we're going to push the power button, and then the engine should start and continue idling at about 1000 RPM. And then uh, after that, it should be running in inspection mode. After and, at, and turn it off, you just press the power button again. Alright, so let's actually try to put that into practice. So we already have the handbrake pressed. So now the first step is to, while keeping our hands out the foot off the brake pedal, we're going to power up the car. So one, bu one button press, and another button press. We're going to floor the gas pedal, and release it twice. One, two. We're going to press the brake pedal, keep our foot on it. And then we're going to shift the car into neutral. And then we're going to, uh, you can see, no. Okay, so you should see on the dashboard it says neutral. Uh, now we're going to press the gas pedal twice, uh, fully, and then you want to shift back in the park by pressing this button. Then you want to floor the gas pedal twice, and you can see uh, on the screen it says problem. I don't think they have the ex the, the diagram as it says. And then after that we're going to uh, push the power button. Oh, there it is. Now it's doing it. So you can see that exclamation point with the car, and that is the silhouette that you should see. So right now the car is running in inspection mode. So once you turn inspection mode on, uh, you're going to note that the engine is going to run continuously, because normally it uh, just shuts off after a while. Now, one thing I should uh, note, it's really important that you don't drive this car when it's in inspection mode, because you are going to totally ruin your car. So. Uh, just to reiterate, don't drive this car at all when it's in inspection mode. Alright, so in order to turn off inspection mode, you know, once you finish your diagnostics, all you have to do is press the power button. And there we go. I'm Aiman, and I just showed you how to put your Toyota PS 2004-2009 into inspection mode. Uh, thanks for watching, please like, comment, subscribe, and look at other videos on I and Aiman, especially the Toyota PS videos, we're doing a lot of them lately. And I'll see you there, signing out. Peace. Alright, so if you're working it in a garage, which would probably happen if you're working during the winter, just make sure that you uh, get your exhaust fumes outside. Uh, so either open the garage door entirely or have it go through an air duct. Uh, because you don't want the exhaust fumes to be trapped in with you. Uh, I think it's called monoxide poisoning if you if you don't if you don't uh, eject the exhaust fumes. Uh, so just make sure you somehow get the exhaust gases out.